Hi, I'm David. And I'm Steve, and this is the CAVE Automated Virtual Environment, also known as the CAVE 2. The Monash CAVE 2 is made by combining 80 3D TV screens. Shaped like a circle, it is made of 20 columns with four screens in each. Each TV screen is one metre wide, so it's a large space, about seven metres across. Each column is hooked up to an extremely fast computer graphics card to process all of the information required to generate video. Each of these 3D TV screens draws an image particular to your location, depending on where you're standing in the cave. It does this by using reflective markers on a set of 3D glasses that are tracked by motion capture cameras in the roof. It relays the information to the computers so that wherever you move in the space, the images are redrawn correctly for you. So if you move to the left, the cave will slightly adjust the images so they point in your direction. Because you're surrounded by images in the cave, this helps produce the best and most realistic looking pictures without any warping. The cave too has 84 million pixels, which makes it perfect for showing images like this, the human brain from a computer generated scan. Using 3D modeling software, we can create any kind of world we want. We can then choose to make those worlds scaled to life size. We can shrink them down or scale them up. Using the tracking glasses, we can walk through a space built to life size scale or use handheld controllers to fly around. This technology can be used for research, education and entertainment. For example, if we build a model of Mars, we can virtually take people there. By using the handheld controllers, a user can fly around our model of Mars and look at all its features. But one of the greatest things we can do is put ourselves inside the body. Our lung airflow study was designed to show how air flows within the lungs, so we needed to create the lungs from the inside and out. Until recently, little has been known about exactly how airflow works when we breathe in. However, by using 4D X-ray imaging and glowing visual particles, we have been able to map the exact path that air takes when we breathe it in. Then, using real-life examples, scans, models and anatomical knowledge, we could create a lung using our design software. We could then combine the airflow and our digital models of the lung to create the full picture. By using the model in the cave, we can choose to scale it up so it's huge and even put the user inside of the lungs. Then they can explore. But this is just the start of what's possible with this amazing technology. Who knows where we'll go next?